Hey everyone, I wanted to pop on real quickly and tell you about two mascaras that I am loving right now. One actually a little bit more than the other. And so I have filmed a little footage of me putting on each mascara, which I will try using my mad editing skills to either do split screen or pop up somewhere. I'm having a little too much fun with iMovie. And um, hopefully you will go out and try at least one of these and let me know what you think. So the first one has been getting crazy, crazy hype all over YouTube. And so I decided to see what all the fuss was. I have recently run out of my current mascara that I love, which is the Origins Ginseng, which frankly I still is in my top three. And I ran out and purchased the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara when Ulta was having its 20% off sale. And you've seen thousands of reviews, so I won't get too much into it. I will say something I didn't notice is it's really heavy. I mean, I don't carry mascara around with me in my purse, but if I did, this would be annoying because this could be like a, I could work out with this if I'm on the road, I can get another one and I could have a like a, a perfect match set. It's, it's heavy and it's the packaging. It's this metal, it's thick. Anyway, um, so here's the brush. It's got this funky kind of hourglass shape and it's really good at getting in there and wiggling in the, um, roots of your lashes and it's really black which I really like um, so here's what I love about it I love that it's buildable I like crazy dramatic lashes so I use at least two coats usually three coats of the stuff I like that it's really black I like that it makes my lashes look crazy full I actually tried putting on fake lashes after I put this on and I decided it was absolutely useless you couldn't even tell that fake lashes were on so that's what I love about it um, the price is kind of on par with all the other mascaras that you get at Ulta, Sephora, um, you know, I think it's around $20, so it is what it is. Maybe it's a little less, maybe it's $18. i will list that for sure below. Here's what I didn't like about it, and I might be the only person on the planet where this was a problem, because I haven't heard anyone else mention this. I did get some smearing and fallout um, underneath here as the day wore on. Kind of a disappointment. So, um... I will probably still use this thing up and um, just be sure um, to take special care and doing some little extra powdering maybe under here to be sure that that seems to help with the transfer. But other than that, I don't, I don't know what ha made that happen, but I will use it up. Now, what I have on today, and I didn't go crazy with it because it's Sunday, and yes, there's a slightly damp dog sitting behind me. It was bath day for the Westies. Always a fun day. The other one that I tried that I think is going to be much more popular with all of y'all, and I will repurchase this, is the Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. This I love for many, many reasons. Firstly, because I think it's like $3. Secondly, because it works really, really well, and that's really all I'm looking for in a mascara. Um, I really don't care how much it is. If it does what it's supposed to do, then... I'm happy and if it's really cheap on top of it then that just puts it to the top of my list so this one I'm sure again you've probably seen re reviewed I got this at my grocery store but they also carry this at Ulta I believe and online in a million places and I will find one and link it below and when I do link it below I just want you to know that I look for the cheapest option so I look for the sale price I look for the lowest price and that's what I link below for you Okay, so this is the wand. It reminds me kind of like of the CoverGirl ones, like the Clump Crusher one. It's really teeny tiny short little bristles that look like they don't do anything. And I'm gonna just add a little more here. Um, but they do. And it's great. It, it doesn't, it's really dark, it's really black, it's buildable, it doesn't get clumpy yet. Um, it doesn't, I don't get the flakes down here. And like I said, it's like two, three dollars, maybe four or five tops, like whatever it is, it's less than five, and that's awesome. I even used it on my bottom lashes today, and so far, so good. So, um, these are the two. These do get, this one I will say, gives me a bit more dramatic of a lash, which I love, but this doesn't flake. So I think my perfect world would be to build up a couple layers with this and then seal it in with this. Haven't tried that yet, maybe I will tomorrow. Anyway, um, let me know if you've tried either of these or if you've tried both of these and you have an opinion over which one you like better than the other. Um,
Or if there's one that I haven't even mentioned and you think I just absolutely need to try it, of course, I'm gonna use these up first, but let me know. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for Thursday when I launch my uh, Makeup for Grown Ass Women series. I'm so excited about that. And be sure you are subscribed not only here, but um, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook, and be a subscriber to my blog because there will be giveaways, some pretty significant giveaways, and I'm not telling how, but some people who are following the blog might get a prize, somebody who's on Twitter might be getting something, someone on Facebook might be getting some goodies, so make sure you're covered in all of those aspects, and I will see you Thursday. Can't wait. Bye.